There are growing calls for hate crime charges in the Georgia spa shootings that killed eight people, six of them Asian women. California Congresswoman Judy Chu pointing to a year of anti-Asian hate that led to tragedy, saying, quote, this day was coming. And she is the chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus and the first Chinese American woman to serve in Congress. California Congresswoman Judy Chu, thank you so much for being here. Sorry, this is the topic that we're taking on now. You believe this was a hate crime. However, that's a high bar legally, uh, if you will. Still, what needs to be done? If, even if there's a conviction in this case, what damage is done if it's not a conviction under a hate crime law? What I'm calling on is for the Department of Justice and all law enforcement involved to do as much as possible to determine that it is indeed a hate crime, including interviewing all the witnesses in different languages and making sure that uh, all resources showing what his frame of mind was are indeed looked at. And so I am also asking the Department of Justice to get involved and so that they can use their federal resources to make sure this is prosecuted as a hate crime. Congresswoman, we want to get your take on something else that's been making headlines. Two Democratic senators, uh, Tammy Duckworth and Maisie Hirono, actually said they, they would block uh, cabinet nominees because they didn't think there was enough Asian representation in the White House, in on the cabinet. Uh, they since backtracked and the White House added an advisor. Do, do you like how they went about it? And it, did it seem to be effective, first of all? And also, are you happy with the compromise and what the White House has now done and added uh, an advisor? Well, Senators Duckworth and Hirono uh, expressed a feeling that was boiling over in the Asian American community because we didn't have an AAPI cabinet secretary that was, uh, that was there, even though in previous administrations, in fact, for 20 years, that there had been a cabinet secretary that was AAPI. And in fact, uh, in the current administration, uh, every constituent group is represented in the cabinet secretaries, Black, Hispanics, Native American, LGBT women, but no AAPIs. So we were very, very disappointed and, uh, uh, and terribly frustrated. That's what brought about these expressions from the senators. And uh, the compromise was that there would be a senior White House official who would be in the West Wing to help AAPIs with these appointments as well as with AAPI issues. I do think that it's a very, very promising start, uh, but we need to make sure that there is follow through and that we can indeed get these issues and appointments done through this person. Speaking of getting things done, Congresswoman, finally Tuesday's shooting in Boulder, Colorado was the second mass shooting in a week's time. You have said that it is time to pass common sense gun reform laws. A lot of people would also argue that it's been time for a long time. We have been covering mass shootings for entirely too long. What makes this time different? Do you honestly believe that there can be congressional action taken on this issue? It's time for this to be done. We, in fact, passed two common sense bills out of the House just within the last two weeks. And they are bills that provide for universal background checks because right now there are too many loopholes where people are selling these guns through personal contacts online or at gun shows and they don't have any background check. Did you know that 80% of crimes that are committed with a gun are with guns that are done without a background check? So there is a lot of mayhem that's created through the lack of this system. And 97% of Americans support this enhanced background check. The other bill actually deals with the Charleston loophole where a young man went to a prayer group and shot nine people dead in a Charleston church. And he was able to get it because uh, there is a three day waiting period uh, to determine in a background check whether a person uh, should be able to get that gun. But if those three days pass, then that gun is automatically given to the person. Well, this would give 10 days before a uh, person could get a gun 
so that that background check could have the time to be finished. This would have saved lives. This would have saved the lives of those nine black persons simply praying in that Charleston church. So we need to get these things done. I also believe that with regard to the supermarket shooting, that there should not be assault weapons because that's indeed what he used. That's why he was able to kill so many people in such a short period of time. There's no reason people need to have an AK-47. As you point out, Congresswoman, the vast majority of Americans agree that something needs to be done. We appreciate your time here and your efforts. Congresswoman Judy Chu, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.